buddy Nick here, and tonight, well, we're going to do a little bit of a crappy knife unboxing, or at least, hopefully, it's going to be crappy. Look, the last few times I've done this, the knife that they shipped was not great, certainly, but uh, wasn't actually, like, awful, the kind of awful that I, I've grown to appreciate and love. And so, uh, today, I figured I would do a nice uh, unboxing of something that's, well, it's going to be interesting. A couple of things I want to highlight first. Um, uh, first off, a couple of sneak previews, actually. These are not crappy knives. These are just fine pieces. Uh, this, for instance, is the Giant Mouse GM4, which is uh, a much smaller knife, actually. We'll do a little size comparison here. This is a uh, Spyderco Delica, of course. And so this is the, the newest knife from Giant Mouse Knives. Interesting little piece, sort of techno style. Actually, we can compare it here against the Alamic Busca. So you can see it's a bigger knife overall, but uh, it's in that same basic idea and vicinity. So that's an interesting piece. You're going to be getting a review of one of these guys one of these damn days. Uh, that'll be happening. Uh, right here is the um, Ferrum Forge Crux. Uh, it's also uh, Ferrum Forge by Masterop, that is. Um, and so this is an interesting piece, actually. This is a surprisingly, a shockingly good knife. The reason I'm surprised and shocked is just that, you know, the Falcon was fine, but this is really impressive. This is a nice little tool. I'm, I'm really appreciating that guy. Next one. This one is brand new. Spanking brand freaking new. This is the Protec Magic number no. 2. But you're thinking to yourself, well, Nick, how do you open it? It's not a slip joint or anything. Well, this one is also magical, because watch. Oh, yeah, that's right. The magic has occurred. And basically, the idea is that you actually, the, 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 the scale moves a little bit off to the side here, like this, and that's what allows you to close the knife. And so to unlock it, you just pop the scale out like this. It's a neat little process. It definitely takes a little bit more learning to get right than the uh, than the original one. But you know what? It's it's neat. It's also freaking huge. Um, it is a downside, though, for everyday carry, at least for me. This is a Kevin Cleary-sized Protec Magic. So, uh, there you go. Um, and then, speaking of automatics that are a little bit crazy, check this little guy out. This is the, this is a Hogue Knives, uh, I don't even know what the model number is on this guy offhand, but, um, this thing's a little insane. It's got a, definitely a Batman look to it, um, and, uh, not exactly a lunchroom knife, so to speak, but it is certainly an interesting piece, and I want to thank very much, actually, my buddy John for loaning, uh, this, uh, the Giant Mouse as well as this guy along for me to check out. So those are very interesting pieces, very, very weird pieces. One other thing I'll highlight here, I, I, I got a, a little bit of a, uh, well, here, let's put it this way. There's a uh, little plug on the channel, huh? huh? Um, in that uh, we have just recently launched the Nick Shabazz, uh, the Shabazar, if you will. It's a bazaar for everything Nick Shabazz, where if you've been looking to buy something like a t-shirt or a mug or something, and this is actually a request I've gotten. I'm not the only person to ever ask for this. Um, I, uh, I, th th that is now live, and so I've got a link to it actually on nickshabazz.com. It's, uh, right there, um, and, uh, where else? I put it up as a community post yesterday on YouTube, but most people don't see those. So anyways, those are all, uh, little things that might be of interest to some of you, but, uh, this little thing right here, well, this should be interesting to pretty much everybody, especially Usa. So, um, yeah, anyways, there you go. Um, <laughs> Shabazz is now a merch whore is the comment. Actually, I gotta, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a little bit conflicted about offering merchandise. If nothing else, I cannot buy a I am a Nick Shabazz certified gem t-shirt because of the conflict of interest. But, you know, even separately, like, I, I'm not necessarily at ease with Nick Shabazz myself as being a brand of being a thing. I mean, it's something that, you know, a lot of people have mentioned, a lot of people have wanted. If it brings people joy, that's great. It's supports the channel, that's great, but I'm trying real hard not to sell out too hard here. I mean, my ego's big enough as it is. Alas, the shirts are not designed by Usa. They are designed by Ari, who is different from Usa, at least, unless there's something he's not telling me. Anyways, I digress. Let's go on ahead and head back to uh, this little guy, and we will go on ahead and open up this really, well, ideally awful knife that's going on inside here. So, okay, predictions. I've been really wrong the last few times here. 
but um, we're going to be assisted. This is that that is the free space at any one of these kind of crappy box of the uh, the, the, the the month kind of things. Uh, we are going to be made uh, also designed. I, that seems pretty fair. Um, hmm, let's see. The last few times we've gotten a fake lanyard. Well, no, it's a real lanyard, but it's like fake leather or something like that. Um, oh, what else? Half serrated, although, again, I've been surprised lately. Last time was honestly not all that bad. And, uh, God, anything else here? I don't know. I, I, I think it's time. It's, ju it's just time. It's time. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. 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 And bam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we are back in business. So, um, this is a thing. I first off, I have to comment on the size of this. This is um this is substantial. Let's just put it this way. This is a ginormous freaking knife. Um, you know, I was showing off the giant mouse. Uh, this is the, 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 the giant rat. This is the muskrat of the, of the TAC Force world. This is a big old guy. Um, it is also, uh, of course, left side tip down only carry uh, with the, the, the seatbelt uh, hook in there. And this is really nice because if you keep your knife in the same pocket with your keys, it'll go on ahead and grab onto your keys and pull them out of your pocket for you, which is, uh, well, that, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Um, we have ourselves a, uh, a seatbelt cutter, but actually it's a two-part seatbelt cutter. This might actually be worth a damn. Let's see if it'll cut a little bit of fabric here. Use one of my little fabric swatches. And uh, let's let's see if it does the trick. Holy crap! It cut fabric. What did the fabric just tear around it? No, I think I'll. I'm gonna give that one credit for a cut. Wow, that's that's impressive. So okay, um, the size of this is intense. Then then there's the texturing here. I don't know what they're after. I'm gonna be honest with you here. This looks like some variety of nylon or another. Um, maybe. I, I don't know what they're after there. Um, then it's got sort of a tribal T-Rex stripe thing going on here. Um, you've got a glass breaker, which is always nice to go with it, because this is a rescue knife. This is for first responders, by the way, because um, you got the glass breaker, you got your, your seatbelt cutter. And, uh, oh, then you got your thumb stud on just the one side that's sitting way out in the middle of the blade here. So, um... And then the, the, oh, then I just noticed the fact that the, the, the paint is just like sprayed on there. They have like a stencil or something. Oh, that's excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this little guy open. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I thought I knew how this was going to go. I thought this was going to be, oh, man. Now, see, I was thinking to myself, well, Dick, the, the, this this is a rescue tool. This is clearly designed for first responders and whatnot. Um, so maybe they're going to have a reasonable, practical blade shape on this guy. Um, unfortunately, I feel like they, 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 they kind of missed on that count. Uh, sorry about the heat kicking on, but it's freaking cold in Michigan. Um, this is... This is something else. This is a... Well, it's not a nightmare grind in the classical sense, but it may well be a nightmare grind for me tonight. That is something else. Um, it is not chisel ground, which is nice. Um, it's got a little bit of a tanto thing. I, I'm trying to think of any knife that has a grind like this. Um, and it's just not working for me. Um, frankly, the less I think about this knife, the, the, the more reasonable I'm going to be. Um, so, yeah, you've got your tanto up front here, which is not actually dull. And actually, if we take a close look here, what we can see is that the Tonto blade portion itself at the top is slightly recurved because there's an area down here that is pulled back. There's an area over here that's pulled back. Um, that That is just, that's a thing. Oh, and then look on this side. Look at this. That's not the grind. That's the thickness of the blade. Oh, man. That's great. And then we come down here. We've got a nice uneven grind throughout the... Oh, my God. That's that's impressive. Then we come back down to here. And oddly enough, this point, by the time we get to here, this almost seems reasonable. It's just like a recurve. It's just a... Oh, yo, 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 yo. So, um, that's that's great. Now, now we got to get up here. 
uh, because check this little action out here. We've got ourselves a nice double fuller. Um, this is like USA, of course, the designer of this knife, because it says right here it is an USA design. Um, USA is a big fan of Todd Begg, apparently. Todd Begg, of course, having the fullers with the holes punched into them and whatnot. Um, I think USA has decided that Todd Begg is really doing some incredible work lately and wanted to double down on it. Like, he wanted, he didn't want to just be Todd Begg by putting a fuller in there with holes in it. He wanted to be twice the designer that Todd Begg is. And so he decided he was going to put two fullers with holes in them. Um, and that's great. And it's not even the same size set of fullers. And the fullers into Dissect the grind. Th that's nice. Uh, but and so one of them has three, the, the other has two. Oy, 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 oy. So that's that's great. Um, and as we all know, a fuller is designed for balance, and uh, the balance on this knife is pretty funny, actually. Um, we uh balanced about uh here ish. She's actually not all that bad in the grand scheme of things. By the way, I love the fact that this has a, a survival of the fittest finger choil. So I, I, you can look at this. If I grab this in my hand, I desperately want this to be a finger choil here. Just because it looks like it, it absolutely should be. This looks like it, it wants to be a finger choil, but it isn't. And in fact, for the people who are, uh, you know, like me and silly enough to want to reach down there and grab, this will remove the finger, which hopefully will reduce their reproductive rights and thus, uh, not rights, their reproductive abilities. Well, I guess they can still reproduce, but they're less likely to. Anyways, um, that, that, that is uh, absolutely a thing. And uh, hopefully it will uh, clarify the, the, the species a little bit from that. Oh, that's some quality lock stick right there. Um, action on it is actionable. There are some big old Teflon washes up inside there. I bet we can do a little bit of improvement here with a little bit of oil. Um... Justin M. says, remind me how much you're paying these people to kick you in the balls every month. <laughs> Nicely put, Justin. Um, this knife right here was delivered to me for a nice, cool $17 at U.S. Yeah, I got my face ripped right off. But that's okay. I can live with that because at the very least, it's an entertaining off-ripping of the face. So, um, at least... It's entertaining me. We'll put it that way. I overpaid. Yes, yes, I did. Oh, my God, did I overpay. So um, then, of course, there is the thumb stud right in the middle of the slicing path. And it's on a flipper knife that is assisted. Will the thumb stud work? Okay, there's not quite enough. There we go. If I use some wrist, the thumb stud will fire. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty great. And then it has this thing, which I feel like... It's kind of like a thumb ramp, except it's a speed bump. It's like if the city council has decided that too many people are resting their thumbs on this portion of the blade, um, they would install one of whatever these are to make sure that you, you're carrying it in a hammer grip instead of a saber grip, just to make sure that this is good and uncomfortable for you. Um, I, I, so, you know, it's, it's a uh, traffic calming measure, if you will, but for the thumb, uh, which is great. But they want your thumb to be ready because of this freaking thumb stud here, which is just spectacular. So, um, let's go on ahead. Oh, we gotta weigh this thing. Oh, man, we gotta weigh this thing. Because, uh, well, let's put it this way. This is not exactly a lightweight little kind of thing. Uh, we have 7.26 ounces. Oh, yeah. See, that's coming in nice and light. I mean, and considering on, of course, size comparison, Spydeco Delica, um, you get a sense of just how absurdly big this thing is. Um, this is, uh, let's see here. When your parole officer measures it, it'll be around three and a half inches, just under the line, actually. That's that's nice. Um, and actually, blade stock thickness isn't that out of control. If we compare it here to the um, Spydeco PM2, it's actually a little thinner than the PM2. So uh, that that that's uh, that's good evidence that USA is not actually Greg Medford working under an assumed identity. So uh, uh, yeah, that's a uh, that that's that's impressive. Seven point two ounces. Excellent. 
just excellent. And of course, like I said, I mean, the, the, the joy of this is that this is a left side tip down only flipper knife with this portion sticking out into your left side. And realize, by the way, that unlike most of these seatbelt opening knives, um, this guy has exposed blade. Like the blade is already of the seatbelt cutter is exposed right in this area here, which means it's going to be just all the less safe. Um, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty excellent. I'm absolutely a fan of that. So, uh, really at this point in time, there's only one thing that we can possibly do to improve this knife. There, there's only one way that we can further engage with this, uh, sort of situation. There's only, we gotta take this thing apart. So, let's go on ahead and pop this little guy open here. I am seeing some interesting takes on Torx here. Yeah, that's pretty excellent. Actually, I'm sorry, hold on. I gotta, we gotta do a little bit of a deep dive here. Pardon the, uh, pardon the strange view for a second here, but there we go. It's time to zoom in and experience the beauty, the grace of this particular pocket knife up close. If I had the rights to this piece of music, you would be hearing the Blue Danube right now. I believe that's Strauss playing as the knife rotated gracefully in your field of view, revealing that nice little gap right there. That's, that's pretty excellent. Oh, yeah. There, there, there's the residue of that. See? Oh, yeah. Here's the tack force. And then you can see how the paint doesn't actually quite go in the areas. Isn't it public domain? It may well be, but I'm live. Alas, I can't help you there. Oh, beautiful. And then, of course, the fact I didn't even highlight this, um, but I didn't even. Uh, the, the, the fullers are only on one side, which is great. It's like they ran out of money for fuller on the, on the one side there, which is spectacular. And, of course, my good friend Usa. Oh, my good friend Usa has really just done it again. So, uh, yeah, that's really impressive. So, uh, hold on just a second, folks. Adios. And we will go on ahead and take this little guy apart, this huge freaking guy apart. All right, looks like maybe T8. T8? T8. Let's try some T8 here. Um, oh, cut some paper to test shop this. Of course, how can I forget this? Uh, where is some paper? Paper, paper, paper. Just a second here, guys. Finding the paper. Jackass loading. Jackass loading. Hold, please. All right, paper. We have some papers. Let's test the sharpness. And there are three different edges to test the sharpness with. So this is going to be more involved than usual. Okay, that's not sharp. So the first tip, not sharp at all. Um, second tip. Oh, wait, hold on. We were sharp for a second there. There is a sharp portion approximately here. That's nice. Yep, and then let's look in the recurve here. And I, I got, I, I got really, uh, I got high hopes for the recurve here. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it's it's sharp at least through part of that whole affair. Let's try one more time here. Yeah. Okay. So it is occasionally sharp-ish. See, this is a safety feature. That means that if, if you're in a knife fight, for instance, and they take your knife away from you, um, thinking that they can use it as a weapon against you, um, because, of course, we all get in knife fights on a regular basis. Don't get into knife fights, kids. Um, this means that you know, because only parts of this blade are actually sharp, you know where on the blade is sharp, so you can grab the, the knife with your hands and, and only hit the non-sharp portions, and confusing your attacker and preserving your hand's sanctity and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty excellent. The only sharp part is the finger choil. Ain't that the truth? All right, so now, now let's take this apart and see just how bad this gets on the inside here. Okay, it's not T8, uh, T10. Let's try maybe T9. I'm not believing that this is, this may well just be T-nothing. 
Okay, no, T9 seems to be doing the trick for us here. Oh, look at that nice, big, beefy pivot screw right there. Open before unscrewing. Thank you, Gibraltar. Gibraltar, you may have just saved my life. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, of course, I need to do that. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, because this is an assisted knife, I... T6, of course it's T freaking 6. I ask that like that's an option. Maybe T7? Well, T7 looks like it'll work. All right. Um, one of these days, one of the knives will hospitalize me. Yeah, but I'll have great evidence for the lawsuit. All right, there we go. And I think we're popping loose here. This is good. Slow but sure. Slow and steady wins the race. Mind you, I don't know who's going to sue who, but somebody will be. Ah, come on. Okay, maybe that one's T6. Which just really bodes well for the tolerances here that some of the screws are differently sized than other of them. Okay, well, that's stripped out. Let's try from this side, shall we? Is that kind of loose? Hey, we got it. All righty. So, got that guy pulled out. Now, let's go back to this side here. Try this one. There we go. Excellent. All right. I think we're going to be able to get this guy apart. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Uh, where's my pry tool? Here we go. There we go. All right. We are apart. And uh, what do we have here? All right. So um, at the core, this is interesting. They even painted the inside of the liner. That's odd. I figured they wouldn't bother. What about the other side? Wow. Go figure, right? They must add the whole bucket and just dumped it right in there. Um, okay, so uh, what we can see here is that this knife is uh, actually not all that terribly made. I mean, this whole portion here is some variety of pot metal or another. The uh, glass breaker tip isn't actually particularly sharp, and it doesn't look like it's carbide, so you can't necessarily trust that it's going to work. Um, they appear to have put a different uh, steel... No... Well, is it? I don't know. It looks like there might be a hardenable steel for the gla uh, the seatbelt cutter, which is good. You can see here that the line of steel is different from the seatbelt cutter steel, which means that they're not completely incompetent, at least in every, every other sense, because this could, in theory, be sharpened and hardened. Uh, so, so that's good, and it looks like I could, in theory, pop that guy off if I wanted to. I really don't want to. That's never going back together. It's got a nice little. So this is your um, uh, this is your Michael Walker zipper uh, zipper fit kind of thing. He does that, except he does it fifty times, and there it actually works. Um, yeah, uh, used under license, no doubt. I'm sure Rusa has paid the relevant fees for that. The champagne of pocket knives. Oy oy oy. As in, too much of it at once can make you pretty sick. Um, let's pop this guy out. Well, that's a very sharp little wire. And I've got tetanus. But that's okay. There are a lot of people in the world who would prefer my jaw locked shut. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Let's see if we can lift off this damn Teflon washer. It's a Teflon washer, but you know what? It's actually Teflon. It's not like flat out plastic. Um, that's where I had, it was one of the crappy knives of the month. Uh, which knife was it? The Kershaw Hot Wire, I believe, had one of the washers is just like flat-out freaking plastic. And I was trying to remember where I had seen that before, and it was one of the crappy knives of the month. So, uh, nice. Um, and let's go ahead and pop this open. Can I pop this open? It's just going to be a hellscape of grease and pain. Oh, that's some quality grease right there. It's like a shot of, like, silicone cork or something. Either way, and uh, here we have our, um, this little guy, uh, our assist spring. This actually looks to be the same pattern as the one in the Z-Hunter, which uh, would lead me to infer that, uh, at the very least, the, 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 the attack force... Ew. I don't know what that color is, but I sure don't like it. 
It's like, yeah. I have no idea what this yellow substance is. It looks clear, but then it turns yellow. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to give me something that's going to kill me down the road. But that's, um, yeah, I think the thing just peed on me. That That's very, very possible. Oy, 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 oy. But anyway, same spring as the, uh, the Z Hunter, which is, um, well, it's a social commentary. Let's just put it that way. Let's see if I can... You know, I'm not super concerned about this guy being rattly, so I don't need to replace whatever carcinogen is up in there at the moment. Excretia green. Um, there we go. That's popped loose. Maybe it is booby-trapped. Somebody just said maybe it's booby-trapped. Well, you know, I've been wondering whether sooner or later, you know, the, the, the company that runs this is going to start, you know, uh, sending out knives, you know, we'll, we'll put green grease inside this one to make sure to figure out exactly who I am so they can send a hit squad to me. I don't know. I uh, make sure to order these under an assumed name <laughs> just so I don't get a Sebenza in there. Uh, although, actually, I, I suppose I wouldn't object too strenuously to that. Not saying that the Sebenza is a crappy knife, by the way. Okay, the it's on this too. The, the entire knife is coated in some variety of excretion or another. Um, that's probably not good. When your knife is excreting, you got a problem. Um, cyanide box of the month. Yes, indeed. Ay, 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 ay. A sarin lubricated knife. Um, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this guy back together. You know, this does remind me in a lot of ways of the construction of the Z Hunter here. Although the Z Hunter is made a little more cheaply than this guy is. Although that 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 really does take work. I'm trying to think, is the Z Hunter the, the pivot uh, or I'm sorry, this little screw or this little uh, standoff that is looks Z Hunter-ish to me. I'm checking for a D shape. Of course it's not freaking D shaped screw. My thinking, come on. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some shared stuff. Pack force, it's made of people. Oy, oy, oy. Let's go ahead and drop this back on here. I'm going to go ahead and put um, $5 worth of oil on $2 worth of knife. Is that a detent ball ramp? No, that's just where they missed as they were grinding the lock face. Ah, pardon me. I've got the hiccups. Quick, people, Google uh, nerve agent hiccups. See which one I've got here. Don't do that, necessarily. You'll probably get, like, NSA and whatnot. Um, all righty. So let's go ahead and put this there. Uh, what else is missing from this thing aside from shame? Mostly just shame. All right. Let's drop the assist spring into position here. There you go. That's in there. Great. Now, how have I failed? Well, to start with, I ordered this knife. That's that's failure number one. But there, there, there were just, we we're in a cascade of failure condition right now here. Okay, there we go. That's, there we go. Popped into place. Okay, we're close. Guys, we're so close, I can... Taste it. Or maybe that's just whatever they put on this guy. They can hold. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and put the pivot into place here. Uh, what size was the pivot again? It was T9, I think. All right. And I'm using Loctite because I want this to be around for the long term. Or something. Ah. And I'm trying to hold this down so that it doesn't disassemble itself aggressively at me. Um... Oh, man, would I starve to death if I had to depend on this knife for food? Um, knives don't tend to be good food. Uh, you know, I, I, I know I talk a lot about knives as food prep, but knives are not actually a solid food. Uh, they, they are not one of the FDA-recommended food groups. It is not the case that you have your, your fruits, your breads, your, your, your meats, your proteins, and your MTEX. That's not the way that the world works, unfortunately. And so if you've been relying on knives for food, I would recommend, although your iron level is probably quite good, uh, as is your carbon, and if you're using Chinese knives, certainly you've got at least eight CRs going for you. Um, this is uh, probably not the approach for, for food, for feeding yourself. 
Um, yeah. Getting something out of your dog's mouth that they shouldn't have, that's an approach, although I really hope you're not talking about this knife. That's the thing. I drift into these back-and-forth conversations, and it's just like I have no idea what's going on in my life here. Um, this is your favorite ZT. Oh, snap. Um... Why do you do this to yourself? You can't be, this can't be healthy. My friend, I've given up on healthy, alas, a long time ago. It's a survival knife. Yeah, the steel is soft enough to eat. And I kind of suspect that whatever these handles are made of would probably catch fire. Let's be real here. At, the, at least the paint sure would. Is it failing to lock up now? Did I ever check that it locked up previously is the other question. Okay, we have substantial blade play. That may just be the way that life goes on. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we got our back screws in here. That's good. Uh, where is... Hold on, let me stash my bits here. That sounds unfortunate. Um, at least it isn't a wristwatch. True. Uh, you know, I can be slightly... At least these are 17 bucks, which you're overpaying, by the way. There we go. Okay, that was a little too tight. Let's go ahead and back this off a little bit here as I expertly tune the action of this piece of crap. Ooh, that's got a 2% lockup or so. <laughs> I bet the lockup is stickier than Nick's Hublot catalog. Alas, I do not uh, enjoy Hublot designs, particularly it's a watch brand, Swiss, very expensive. Um, but yeah, handles would be magnesium. Yeah, uh, handmade. Yeah, this is handmade in China. Somebody just said, if it ain't handmade, I'm not buying it. Oh, it's handmade. Um, by very, very small hands, no doubt. Centering is actually not all that bad. I, I thought the centering was off, but no, it's just the case that the scale doesn't sit well, and so as a result, the centering doesn't quite look right. You know, honestly, um, not so bad in terms of construction. And the action is definitely smoother now. I'll, I'll give it that any day of the week. I would hope so. We've now used 10 bucks worth of lubricant on a uh, $2 knife, but you know what? It, it works, and so we, we've done a little bit of good for this little guy here. Uh, you know, Nick's home for Wayward Knives has, has done something beautiful. Uh, or at least something ridiculous. Um, yeah. Oi, 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 oi. This is absolutely a thing. This is a, a knife-shaped device. I'm still trying to figure out this whole affair here. Like, is it a badly done zipper? Maybe it's a zipper. Yeah, it's a series of zippers, maybe? I, I, I got nothing, guys. I have zero freaking clue what's going on with this guy. Um, This, but all told, you know, eh, back at the ranch, final conclusions, this is a terrible freaking knife. And we can say that from a variety of, uh, you know, different perspectives. It is a, uh, well, it's a handmade, the, the steel is stainless. Um, There is approximately a three and a half inch blade, of which approximately an inch total is sharp. Uh, so that's that's certainly something. Um, you have this whole affair right up here, whatever that happens to be. Um, the the zipper thing is great. The fact that the the, the seatbelt cutter is exposed uh, for fingertips and can very easily lift the keys out of your pocket as you are doing a uh, left side tip down only carry situation. Um, the 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 Teflon washes. Not super impressed by this knife, but that's okay. That's why it came in, well, this box. Good things do not come in this box. That's just, that's, that's, a, that, that's a simple fact. So, um, EDC this for a week, D.S. Nugent says. D.S. Nugent, there is not the remotest of chances in the remotest of hells that I would ever, every day carry this knife. Um, not only is it borderline dangerous with this thing and left side tip down only, but no, 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 no. I, there is a price for which I would every day carry this, but it's way higher than you're going to pay. Um, I absolutely a hundred percent. It looks better out of focus. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, and then look, look at this. This is the screw that I tried to tighten and that just started unfolding basically. Um, 
Wow, that's pretty excellent. You've got these great burrs off of the, 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 the tip here. Um, people are saying, isn't that right side tip up? No, this is left side tip down. I got a gripe on Knife News about that. You should uh, check that out. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 no. No, EDC that for a year and you'll buy me an Omega? No, 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 no. Omega money is the weak. I'm sorry, no. I got, I got standards here. I've got standards. Um, absolutely no. No, 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 no. So, anyways, this is our crappy knife of the month. It is indeed pretty crappy, and it is... It's something else, all right. Um, I hope that this has been interesting to you guys, and, uh... Oh, boy... I gotta unsubscribe from this thing. But mostly, I, I hope that you had fun, that you enjoyed this just terrible piece of crap, and that you have yourselves just an absolutely